Crafters! Today marks one full week of being back to school. I'm in my junior year. It's crazy that I'm halfway there. This past weekend I went to my last concert of the summer, but overall with school starting and just everything, it doesn't really feel like summer anymore, you know? But I'm not quite ready to let go of summer yet. And so I put together this video that is kind of summer themed, like our last summer, I don't know what word I'm thinking of, summer hurrah, if you want to call it that. And so we're going to be doing this beach theme project today using seashells. It'll look a little something like this and I'll show you how to put it together. Before we get into the tutorial, make sure if you haven't already subscribed to my channel that you hit that big red subscribe button right below. And also if you want to get notifications of when I post videos and what I'm doing, make sure to hit the little bell symbol beneath it. Alright, let's get into this project. Here we have our basic materials. Let me catch you up to speed on what all this is. First of all, you might or may not recognize this glass bottle. This is from last week's tutu where I showed you a method for cutting glass bottles. So just to catch you up to speed on what's happened with this bottle is I was looking online trying to figure out ways to sand it. What I ended up doing was just using normal sandpaper. I believe it was aluminum carbide, 150 grit, and I just sanded the edges. If you think you need to sand down your glass bottle, I would do a little more research and possibly use a Dremel tool or emery paper. I just use the sandpaper because that's what I had on hand and I'm happy enough with the results I got from that. Next thing I have is a pair of scissors, pretty basic. Got some seashells. With the one I'm making today, I'm going to use six seashells. Now this right here is the piece that's going to go right in the neck that all my rope is going to feed through and just a couple quick words on this. So this is a piece of plywood that my dad helped me with this and he used his drill press to cut out the circle and then we notched it I think using the belt saw. I feel like I'm using the wrong term there but that's all that's coming to me right now. So a couple quick words on this. I would recommend you not use plywood and not use all the fancy tools because that's way harder than it needs to be. Again, I was just going with what I had on hand. So what I would recommend doing is either going to the craft store and buying just a disc of wood that you can then drill a hole in just with a normal drill or else buying a thick dowel and then using a saw to cut through and then again just drill the hole. Secondly, don't worry about notching it. The story behind notching it was to test something and it didn't work but I wanted to notch all of my pieces that I was going to be trying this on just in case it did work while my dad was up there so that's why this is notched. Yours doesn't need to be notched. But you will want a wooden disc that has a hole drilled through the middle and the hole needs to be big enough for your rope to go through. Last of all, here is the rope. Now what I'm going to be using is this pretty thick rope here but actually what I'm going to do because I don't want it to be anywhere near this thick is I'm going to cut a piece off and actually unwind this. So now I have my piece of rope and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually untwist this. If you look, this rope that I'm using has three strands and each of those three strands has three strands of rope so I'm going to be unraveling the big three and then unraveling each of the littler three. With this method, you'll notice that the rope won't be particularly straight. It's going to have all these kinks and coils in it. I don't mind the kinks and coils, and I like this method just because it's a little cheaper to buy the bigger rope because I already had one on hand. So it won't necessarily be cheaper, but if you are going to be using bigger rope for another project, this is definitely a viable option. Or you could just start buying some smaller rope. Now that my rope is ready, I'm going to pick one piece that's going to be my main centerpiece, and I'm going to feed it right through the hole in the wood circle. So the basic idea here is we're going to tie a loop in the top here so we have a way to hang it. This is going to be sitting right in there and that's what's going to support the bottle. And we want to tie a knot in the rope beneath the wood so that way it doesn't slide down like this. So I'm actually going to tie my knot in the top here first because that makes it a little bit easier. Just fold it in half, do a simple overhand knot. Nothing fancy and I'm going to trim that tail there. And now I need to figure out where my wooden piece is going to sit. So I'm going to feed this back up through here and I'm just going to pull this top part through until it's as far out the top of the bottle as I want it to go. I like that spot right there. I'm pull this out and now I know where I want to tie my knot. It might help if you put a little mark there with like a sharpie just so that way you can keep track of where you want to tie your knot. And then just tie a few knots right in that spot there. 
just high enough so that way it can't fit through the hole in the wood. There you go, now it'll sit like that. And our glass bottle will be able to hang. Now we're going to grab five more of our pieces of rope and we're gonna tie them on to the top here. The way I like to do this, just because I like slip knots, is to use a slip knot. So I'm just by making a slip knot, sliding it down over here, and then cinching it up. And again, I'm gonna trim these tails as I go. So now I have this beautiful mess where I have these five pieces attached onto here. And what I want to do now is I'm going to glue down the side because once we put it through the bottle, if we don't attach the side somehow, then they might all clump to the same side and all our seashells will be right on top of each other and not that cute. That's what the notches were supposed to be for, but because my rope is a little bit thicker, I'm just going to use the hot glue gun. I'm just going to work around and glue all five of them down. Ta-da! Again, I know it's not looking like much, but we're getting there. What I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to kind of spiral my seashells around. And the way I'm going to accomplish this is by making each one longer than the other one. So I'm going to start and cut this one short and then I'll cut the next one longer and so on. So I'm going to put this in here so I can see where my rope comes out the bottom. So it's all up to the top and I'm going to pick one to start with. So I want my first shell to hit right about here. So I'm gonna cut this group. I'm gonna go to my next one, and I'm gonna cut it a couple inches longer. Going to my next one, a few inches longer, and just keep repeating this all the way around with those outer five. Now I actually want my center one to be the longest of them, so that way it's like the sixth one down at the middle, but obviously this rope is shorter, so I'm just gonna tie another piece to make it a little longer. And now we're really close to being done. It's just time to glue on the seashells. I'm going to make my shells get bigger as I go down also. You can kind of think about where you might want to hide the rope, so to speak. You can also take your glue gun if it doesn't want to stick right away and kind of push it down in there using the tip of your glue gun. Now that we've got all our rope and our seashells together, it's time to put it in the bottle and hang it up where we want it to go. All right, let's put it together and see how it turned out. Gonna feed the top through the bottle. And to grab onto it, I have this amazing metal monkey. It's like, you know, those monkeys in a barrel. It's super cool. It's like this metal, like, hand planger. Hand planger. Plant hanger. It's a metal plant hanger, I think it's supposed to be. So I'll use this little guy to help me hold them. So here is what we have so far right now. It's not looking super special just because it's all tangled up. So what you wanna do is you wanna go through and just make sure that your pieces aren't tangled together. Just kind of smooth them out. Also, obviously if you're using, you know, straighter rope that's not as twisted as mine, it'll naturally hang straighter. Another thing is if your bottle is wider than this one is, you can do, obviously do a wider wooden piece in the middle and it'll spread them out more. But overall, this is just a super cute, fun, beachy, summery project to do. And I think it's really cute. So again, super easy DIY, very quick, doesn't take much prep time. Obviously you have to deal with the bottle, but other than that, most of it's pretty straight up crafting, tying knots, gluing stuff together with a hot glue gun. You know, this is that kind of stuff that I like to do. So I hope that you enjoyed this project. Don't forget to subscribe, comment below, and share your thoughts on this project because I wanna hear from y'all. Also make sure you keep an eye out because later on this week I have a really fun video coming out. It's about something that I really enjoyed working with. So you definitely don't wanna miss that. Keep an eye out for that later on this week. So I will see you then. Happy crafting.